Singapore has welcomed the Myanmar army's decision to send a non-political official to attend the ASEAN foreign minister's retreat. A foreign minister, Vivian Balakrishnan, described the meeting with Myanmar's official as friendly and constructive. Well, he made the comment while speaking to reporters at the end of the retreat. I think that's the correct attitude to take. Right? We don't approve of what's happening. We think, in fact, Three years later, things, the situation in Myanmar, the security situation, the safety of people, the economy, actually is worse than it was three years ago. Nevertheless, the key point remains, you, they need national reconciliation, they need to speak to each other, and ASEAN stands ready as a neighbour, as a fraternal association, to be helpful and constructive, not to make things worse. Dr. Balakrishnan also said the bloc's ministers also discussed challenges in the wider geopolitical spectrum. We also had, uh, I would say, delicate but sincere and candid discussions on what's happening in Gaza. Although there are some differences in perspectives within ASEAN countries, but actually there are a few key points which we all agreed on. Number one, we do need to call out terrorism and particularly when innocent civilians are affected. doesn't matter from which side, where it occurs, or whatever pretext or excuse is used. If acts of terror are conducted, or if civilians, innocent civilians, are hurt, we need to express concern. Dr. Balakrishnan also spoke about the need to beef up energy security in the region. Singapore recently imported clean energy from Laos through Thailand and Malaysia, a first step to a wider ASEAN power grid. This is something which we've been speaking about, actually, to be honest with you, for decades. But I think now, when all of us need to make that transition into a green economy, the ASEAN power grid becomes more salient. So it was useful for us to be able to, to emphasize uh, that point.